So let's talk about Qualcomm. They have a eight core part. They're coming down market. You know, while well, we're talking ultra premium and top of the top of the market, Qualcomm's like, look, we're going to attack the whole market. We're going to come out with an eight car, core part. We're going to put in the seven hundred dollars. What do you think, Pat? What, what's going on there? Yeah. So uh, giving Qualcomm credit here, uh, Qualcomm completely disrupted uh, the Windows uh, notebook market. Uh, some people can say that, uh, oh, it was Apple. I mean, Apple really initiated this, right? By dropping the M bomb on the entire uh, industry. Hats off uh, to them uh, in doing that, because then that inspired, gave an opportunity to Qualcomm and AMD and Intel had had to react. Uh, so hats off uh, uh, to them in not only bringing uh, this amazing NPU to the table. And enabling Copilot Plus uh, experiences, but even as impressive, bringing the performance and battery life, CPU and GPU to the table. It's pretty amazing. So uh, the first uh, announcement was th that they did uh, a while back and announced that Computex was a 12 and a 10 core variant. And, and this latest um, out is an eight core Copilot Plus plus PC processor. And you might be like, well, well, so what? Like it's down core. It's it's it very important. First and foremost, seven ninety nine price point. There are uh, Copilot Plus Qualcomm PCs as expensive as sixteen ninety nine uh, out there. I would say most of them range at about the eleven ninety nine price point. And from a unit volume standpoint, uh, there's two three x the volume at that seven ninety nine uh, price point. And volume is very important. It's important for scale to Qualcomm. More importantly, it gives scale to the partners who uh, need to be able to write off um, below the line expenses and amortize those over a larger volume uh, base. Uh, Qualcomm put it in the same socket, which means uh, all the platforms that are out there that were already out there, it's a drop-in uh, piece. This puts Intel in a very difficult position. And gosh, it reminds me of the good old days of AMD versus Intel that I was knee deep in. Um, literally, um, it, Qualcomm drops an eight core part that has as many cores as the highest end Intel part. And yeah, I get it. Intel cores are more efficient. Check, I get it. Higher performance, we'll see about the battery life. Uh, but it remind you know it it puts it in a very difficult position in, in the consumer space, and here we go. It, it it's going to make benchmarks. Uh, the benchmarks wars have begun between Intel, Qualcomm, and AMD. It puts Signal sixty five at the forefront uh, of this. Um, I'm recommending. I think Intel should drop some more detailed benchmarks within two weeks to until the systems come out on September uh, uh, 24th. Um, it's sad that a non-tech uh, pulled the plug, but that just shows the state of affairs today. And, and quite frankly, it doesn't limit the need for third-party independent benchmarks. I think it actually increases the need for that. I don't think the YouTubers are gonna fill uh, that up. Super exciting, man. Stepping back, more competition means Bet more innovation and lower price points for everybody. And you need three healthy markets have three somewhat equally sized competitors. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, while the size is kind of somewhat still asymmetrical in Intel, while it might feel like they're the smallest right now because of market cap, they're actually by quite a large amount revenue, <laughs> the biggest. Um, Having said that, Pat, I agree with you. Uh, first of all, great takedown on the overall. And, and by the way, we need to get to AMD. We'll probably have to come back maybe next week and talk about that because they had a bunch of stuff. Their stuff started popping yesterday, so we didn't have an, a, as much time to assess, but they've got a Copilot Plus thing going on too. Um, Pat, just, you know, because you hit a lot of Qualcomm. I was in the room. Cristiano Amon basically said, let's have a benchmark off. He's ready. He wants to, you know, he's basically saying, I'll take your numbers. He's kind of looking at it like the comparisons were across different parts. It was inconsistent. You put your best part against our mid part. Like that's kind of the the, the tenor and tone I got from the stage and in the 
questions. Ryan Stroud, our president of Signal, asked the first question. I asked the last question. You know, we we, we opened and closed that baby down. Um, yeah. You know, and I, and I got we I got to spend a bunch more time with the executive team while I was there at at EFA. And, you know, there's a lot of confidence at Qualcomm that they're getting it right. Um, and the numbers won't lie. Of course, the there's two sets of numbers though, Pat. There's the numbers of what the benchmarks say, which we're here to work on. And there's going to be the numbers of what the market says, which is what sells out and what people buy and what people use and and what becomes more popular and does Qualcomm really begin to become a household name in the laptop business, Pat. I mean, we, you and I have been through iterations and iterations of some of these first generation. And this Qualcomm part, for the first time, I'm using this device regularly and I'm saying I could use this device regularly. Like, this is good stuff. So, you know, um, addressing that sort of mid part of the market, Pat, is also super important. Like, you know, that's where companies exist. They're going to make this big, big shift in this big wave. And this AIPC thing is just getting started. You know, we knew it would only start this year. We were sort of trying to temper the expectations. Um, we're starting to see this come to life. We're seeing volume starting to ramp. I think it's great that Intel is healthier. And I think it's great that Qualcomm's going all in on making more and more competitive products. This is good stuff. And like I said, we'll come back to AMD later. Um, yeah, hey, uh, just, just one quick, uh, quick, quick comment. Um, this bodes well for the AIPC market. It does. I mean, having Intel come here, guns a-blazing, makes an absolute uh, huge uh, uh, difference. And yes, hey, Eric, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, dialing in.